We're here today at Julie's Garden, which is one of the community gardens that is supported by Mary and Polk Food Share. And this is where kids at Four Corners Elementary School can learn about gardens, can learn about growing fruits and vegetables, and then we'll get the opportunity to try these fruits and vegetables and take some home to their families. Awesome. Let's go! <laughs> yeah? Where is it? I always send them on a, a hunt around the garden to point out something new this week that wasn't here last week. And the kids just, I mean, it's an awesome way to explore the garden and they always come back with something great. That orange stuff, that's the carrot. Can I see oh yeah, I see the carrot. This is cabbage and it's for salad. Show me what it looks like. Come down there. Let me look at it. The sap, the sabots, it looks like white stuff, but it's all the way in there. It's lettuce. It looks like leaves, and it's and it's kind of like lettuce. What I like about the garden is you can get your hands dirty, and you find roly polies and ladybugs and worms. What I grow in my own garden actually right now, I grow carrots, bell peppers, onions and then um, flowers that spell out my name. They're so curious, but they constantly surprise me with um, what they already know. So why are apples so good for you? Have nutrients. nutrients! What's a nutrient? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, oh. What? Vitamins. Wait. Vitamins? Yeah, those are nutrients. They totally did what I wanted them to do. They got from apple to tree to roots to soil to worms. Whoa, check this one out. Hey, it's got a little white worm. Hey, 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 hey. What end do you think oh, is the front? Oh, Which end do you think is the back? They use their muscles. Part, part is their muscles hey, and Amelia. that little sesame right there. It breathes from its whole body. And worms have zero ears. I hope tonight these kids will go home and tell their parents about worms. And I hope that when they're at the grocery store, they'll ask their parents to buy apples. I hope that they'll say, can we plant an apple tree and grow our own apples? But they can also feel confident in their own ability to grow things. Because I'm finding so much that people are afraid of the garden. Like, I can't grow anything. Are you kidding me? What? How do I do that? But these kids have such a genuine curiosity and genuine excitement about the garden, and I just really hope that they can take that on with them.